Last week, I interviewed one of Japan's most successful Forex traders. And when I interviewed him, he taught me the secret to scalping. And this guy is one of the most successful traders that I've ever met. He's incredibly consistent. He generally only needs to take like one to two trades per day. And he's a 15 time funded professional prop trader. And so in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you some of the secrets that I learned about scalping successfully, and I'm gonna show his exact strategy. Now, the tips that I'm gonna teach you in this video could be applied to any other scalping strategy and will likely give you a much better return than if you had not listened to this video. So if you're looking to become a successful Forex scalper, then make sure you watch this entire video. So when I sat down and interviewed him, one of the first things that he taught me is that he said, that you need to be trading the right pairs at the right time. And most people don't even think about this. They just pull up their market watch. They've got 30 assets that are available to trade and they're just looking for this. Whereas Yuya, this guy that I interviewed, one of Japan's top traders, he actually only trades generally two assets. He trades gold and he trades GBP, JPY. And he said that it's important to understand that you need to be trading at the right times if you're gonna be a scalper. Now, you're probably familiar with the different Forex sessions and you can see them on the screen here. Obviously we have the Asian Tokyo uh, Sydney session, we have London and we have the New York session. And the idea behind this is that we want to trade ideally when there's times of high volatility. And as you can see, you know, during the Asian sessions after the New York session, generally the volatility is very low. And I'm gonna show you this on a chart here in just a second. So this is not the ideal times to be trading. If we're gonna be scalpers, then generally we want a lot of volume and a lot of volatility in the market uh, because we don't wanna be sitting on these trades for a long time. If you're a scalper, you wanna be in and out of the market, right? And generally you wanna be trading when there's the most volume. This is when the banks and the big institutions are trading and that's when the market is actually moving. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be trading during the Asian session. Now, if we look here, we can see that once London opens, you can see that this starts to become high volatility. So generally, he's only looking to trade right around London open when we have this short little overlap of the Asian and London session. And then also at the New York open when there's a lot of volatility and a lot of volume with both the London and New York sessions being open at the same time. Now, to visualize this in a different way, I've gone ahead and uh, put on this indicator. It's just a sessions indicator where we can see blue is New York, yellow is London, and then we have the Asian session in white. And if we just go back and we look at it, I've boxed a lot of the times where you see the Asian session and there's not really a lot of volume going in. You can see by the small candles and you can see generally a lot of the times, not all the time, but a lot of the times during the Asian session, we can see that price doesn't really tend to move a whole lot. As you can see, boxed in red, boxed in red. You know, this is a day where there happened to be quite a bit of volume. Uh, but again, the majority of the times, the Asian session doesn't really tend to have a whole lot of volume going on. As you can see here, across many, many sessions, you see the pattern repeating over and over again. So GBP, JPY is generally his favorite currency to trade. And the reason being is because he happens to be in Japan and this is a really great time for him to be trading. And generally he'll trade it right around the London open, which is when there's quite a bit of volatility in the market as both the, the GBP currency bank is open as well as the JPY bank is also open. So he likes to see that both banks are open at this time, which is gonna give the greatest amount of volatility. Now he will also a lot of the times trade gold during the New York session open, which is when there's the most volume and volatility around gold. So depending on where you're at in the world, you need to decide on which sessions you're gonna trade at. Cause not only do you say trade the right pairs at the right time, but also trade at the same exact time every day because what you'll start to learn is you'll start to pick up on patterns especially if you're just trading one or two assets about how these assets perform during that time frame now the next thing that he taught me about scalping is is that we actually do want to use the higher time frames to get an idea of the bias of where the market might be headed you know, a lot of people, they'll just drop down to the five minute or the one minute time frame, and they're really just guessing. They haven't used any sort of higher time frame analysis to get an idea of the direction of the market. So you can come to the daily or the four hour to get an idea of what does the market structure look like? Should we be looking for buys or should we be looking for sells? And as you can see just here in this uh, scenario, you know, we kind of had this uh, resistance line here right at kind of 168 or so, uh, where we had multiple touches here, a wick here, a wick here, and a wick here. Uh, right around 168 and since then it looks like we've broken above and we put in a higher high higher low higher high 
And if we can also take a look just, you know, using some simple moving averages, I have the 21 and 50, we can see that technically we are in a little uptrend. It looks like we did have this uh, strong bullish green candle here, and then we had kind of this wicky uh, looking candle here, but generally we should be looking for buys when we get down to the lower time frames when we're actually gonna be scalping. And now you can see the trend a little bit uh, easier here on the four hour, dropping down to the four hour, we can see higher highs and higher lows kind of hugging this uh, EMA right here. And we see we may get some reaction off of this EMA right here. So generally the idea is you want to use some sort of higher time frame analysis to get an idea of should I be long or should I be short when we're actually dropping it down to actually scalping. So now putting things together here, generally the way that Yuya will trade is he'll wait until the London Open. So he'll look at what happened during the Asian session. He'll define this range that has been happening during the Asian session. And he'll look at it on the 30 minute time frame again, just to get a better picture of it. And as you can see, price has kind of been just trapped in between this little uh, box here on the Asian session. And then we're waiting for a breakout or a fake out pattern to happen, which is basically meaning that the um, it's gonna break out of this box. So as we can see here, as soon as we got a breakout, which happened on this candle, we can see that the market just dumped and we had a really nice looking trade right here. Now to get even more precise entries, you can drop down to say like the 15 minute time frame like we see here. And if you're gonna wanna get really serious about the scalping and get really exact time frames, then you can also drop all the way down to like the five minute time frame to get a really good idea of when you might wanna enter. So for example, you know, you could have entered right at this candle here on the five minute and, um, you know, had a little bit tighter of a stop loss. So again, the idea behind this is, is that we've been trading in this range and then we're waiting for price to break out of this range. And then we want to look for our trades. Uh, generally, Yuya will take a one to one or a one to two risk to reward ratio. And generally he's only risking about 1%. So he'll t risk about 1% in order to make 1% or in order to make 2% as a general rule of thumb. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you'd just like to have Yuya, this guy that I'm talking about that taught me scalping, if you'd like to just have his daily analysis brought to you straight on your phone, then go on over to blueedgeforex.com slash discord. Every single morning he puts out like a two minute analysis, breaking down the market really simply, which direction he's looking to trade and what he's looking to happen, where his key levels are, all of the stuff that we talked about previously in this video, you'll get sent to your phone directly via Discord every single morning. So here's what I thought was really powerful about the way that he trades is not only does he look to trade these sort of breakout uh, of these range of sessions, but if he loses a trade on a breakout, a lot of the times there's this sort of like fake out pattern that happens where a lot of people will see this candle breaking out of this range right here and they'll start to get long. And then immediately we see this bearish candle that happens right here. And what Yuya will do a lot of the times is he'll wait for price to break back into this range and then trade it to the opposite side of this range right here. So a lot of times we'll see Yuya, he'll come in and he'll take a 1% risk on this breakout trade. And if this is a losing trade, which it looks like it would be, once it breaks back into the range, he's looking for a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio, but a lot of the times he'll now risk 2% in order to make 2%. So even though he already lost 1% for the day, he'll come in, he'll get this 2% winner, which trades to the bottom of this range, and he'll actually end up on the day net positively. And generally, I only see him take like one to two trades per day. So I want you to imagine just being able to trade for maybe an hour or two per day and being able to make your one or two or 3% and not have to take more than like two trades. That'd be pretty awesome, right? Just to show you guys another example of a fake out pattern, we kind of had this range defined here during the Asian session. And it looks like this candle, we got a clean break below this level, which means, you know, maybe we would have went short right here. Um, and you would have seen that price reversed ultimately really quickly with this kind of uh, like uh, morning star sort of pattern where we had this really strong momentum right here. Well, here's a good opportunity where say you lost your 1%. Now we can do a 2% trade, enter right here and trade this right back up to the top of this range, which you saw got hit and smashed completely really simply. And just to give you one more example of this fake out pattern, because you do see it happening a lot. It's either a clean breakout or you see a fake out, which happens a lot of the time. We saw a range defined here during the Asian session. We saw we did get a clean break below here of this previous range. And then we saw these candles that started to come back and trade into the range. So here would have been a great opportunity where you could get into the trade, put your stop loss below these wicks here and make this trade all the way back to the top of the range, which you saw it went directly to the top of the range again, which you could have made your profits there for the day. One other thing that I learned as a general rule of thumb is that he doesn't tend to risk more than 3% on a single day.
day, meaning that if he loses 3% in a day, he calls it quits, he's done until the next day, which I think is a great rule of thumb, especially if you go on a losing streak to be able to come back to the charts again the next day with a fresh head. Now, the next thing that you need to do if you're interested in learning more exactly about this scalping strategy is you need to check out the video right here where Yuya actually explains this right from the horse's mouth so you can understand exactly how this trading strategy works. So go ahead and check that out right now.